Today, we are going to do Contra. Probably a quick one. There's a classic game of shooting platformer. But the cool thing about this, this is one of the games that made famous uh, the Konami code to get... Uh, it's a code that would get you all kinds of guys over and over again, so we're gonna we're gonna utilize the Konami code and see if we can't uh, play through Contra. So let's get to it. For those of you who don't know the classic code, I think probably anyone watching this probably does. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, start. If I did it right, I should have 30 guys. There we go. We did it. So if not, you don't do it. You only start out with three. And with this one, so you start off in the jungle. And you're trying to fight the evil Red Falcon, I believe. And this game is actually pretty fun uh, playing two player, you can play two player at the same time. And you get power ups from these little pods. And I just grabbed what most people consider probably one of the best weapons in the game, the spread gun. See, that's, it makes, spreads your gun out in all kinds of directions, so I'm gonna try to jump over the, oh, well I picked up fire, I didn't mean to. And that's fire. There's a plethora of different weapons here, and you don't have to kill guys, you can just run by them, like I did that thing. Your guy will, if he gets hit one time, he immediately dies. Ah, and any of those little falcony things will give you a... Oh, now I got spread back. <laughs> so this is probably my favorite. There's... So if you're playing... Oh, I missed the R. That R is rapid. It will actually make your bullets go faster, no matter what weapon you have. And... There's a couple combinations with rapid, which are pretty, uh... Pretty stellar. If you do, like, a... Uh, Machine gun with rapid, you'll fire really, really fast. Machine gun's the M, that was that first one I got. We're already to the first phase. So, you know, with the. Whoops. Whoa, now once I. I almost get hit. So, now once I killed that with the spread gun, I can't get hit. I can just sit here. And my spread gun will just hit those things. And you really. This is. They each have these little red. Um, deals, and that pretty much symbolizes. Like, the harder power of bosses or anything you fight. The cool thing about this, so it goes from that side-scrolling platform, so now we're in the base. And that's where it goes to switch us to this mode, where you can't move past, you can duck, so when these guys shoot at you, you can duck. Ooh, now I have rapid spread. You'll notice my, uh, my weapons shoot a little faster. You can jump, and you can duck in here, and enemies can't get you. And what you do is you blast that little sensor, it blows open the door, and you come through here. And that would see these guys come out and shoot at you. The faster you bust through, then the little electrical barrier, if you touch it, you get zapped like that, and you can't move for a few seconds. And that's usually when you get in trouble. Whoa! Ah! <laughs> that was good. I like to kill these, and then it makes it a little easier. Since I got killed, if I wait a little bit, a red guy should come. The red ones on these levels are the ones that give you a weapon. Maybe there isn't one coming here. So I'll just shoot that. And, oh, now these, this level, those little rollers come. So if you're ducking at those, those rollers will take you out. And that guy throws, uh, let's see, he throws a grenade, a grenade at you, so. Yeah, we got it. There we go. i get that red guy. Oh, man. I almost got him. Oh, well. Oh, and now we're almost to the boss here. So you don't have to kill all the guns. I just am doing it because, hey, why not? You can just go straight for this. Oh, and I missed, I missed my last chance for a power up before. Uh, ah! <laughs> Surprised I didn't get killed there. I accidentally jumped into the thing like four times. And that's where that Konami code comes in super handy because uh, I died like, needlessly a whole bunch there. Now we're to the big boss. Looks like it looks like it's just a supercomputer, and you just think, "Oh, I just need to kill these five little things." And once I kill this, no one can shoot at me. And if you get 
think that, you would be wrong. It's like, oh no, it's actually the eye. The alien eye. So this is kind of your first thing of fighting like weird aliens, it's not just crazy dudes with high tech. So. And whenever it makes that little ding ding ding, that usually means it's something you can kill. So like, if I had a better weapon, I could just sit here and just shoot at him, and he'd be dead. But as I hit him, there we go. So, this game was always fun to play with a buddy, you can get it with people you could casually play it, because... I mean, it's pretty much jump, shoot, dodge. And this level was always fun. If you play with a friend, it will cause all kinds of fights because as you go up, if your buddy's behind you and you keep going up, you kind of got some fire. You can totally ditch your friend, though. So then your friend dies and he gets mad, so then he tries to kill you. And you do a big retaliatory thing back and forth. Now I have a cool laser. Laser's kind of a... It shoots that long beam, so it does like a whole bunch of hits at once. And I just angled it down to shoot that guy who would shoot those little bombs at me, but laser's good for those. Because... It shoots so much of that, and I believe there's going to be a thing shooting up here. There we go. Now I'm invincible for a little bit. That's what the B is, so I didn't have to worry about the fire at all. Ah, oh, that was really, really bad. Actually, I've not played this game for quite a while. That's how I kind of do a lot of these first streams since I'm getting back into this, just because I figure it's a little more fun for you and a little more fun for me to see uh, people progress and go instead of... Uh... I know I tend to watch a lot of these streams and the guys are so good, it's like, whoa. But just letting you know I'm just a normal dude who likes video games. It used to be really good. But yeah, so we had the sound sounding good. Looks like you guys can hear me okay. It's cool. Thanks, crochet bunners. Appreciate that. Now we're up on to this boss, and now you really see it's an alien. You're like, whoa. What's this big thing? So this guy, you kill off his arms. And then it's like, why are you shooting fire at me? And then the mouth goes. Since I have the spread gun, it makes it a little easier so I can just get out of the way and kill him off. Just like that, we're already to the second base. Base stage four. So this one's a little different. It's similar to the first base in the layout, but you'll notice the sensors or whatever have these little shields on them that you have to kind of shoot through. Kind of reminds me of the old uh, shields on Defender. Oh, this one's kind of good. Sort of spread helps. Let's see, I pick out two and one. But yeah, I know this is just a fun little quick game. Grab a couple of buddies, kill some aliens. See, and I imagine if you're speed run it, you'd probably don't do anything at all what I'm doing, but, uh, um, you can just go straight. I was gonna show, like, on this one I'm not really paying attention to the, oh, I got grab the laser. Oh, well. Okay, laser beam's actually not too bad, I think, on this one, because I should be able to kill off that thing really fast. Am I not hitting <laughs> Well, I'll just kill these. that thing up. And... Yeah, so yeah, the laser is actually pretty good on this one, because it shoots off. Oh, I'll kill that guy. I don't know. So, fumble along. Pretty fast pace. Let's just put this in. Get a little 
do much commentary and still not get myself killed left and right. So. Yeah, I'm gonna have to jump to hit. There we go. Got him. And we should be coming up to. Okay, here we go. That big one's always the. This one looks real similar to the other one, but you get these guys who come shoot at you. They're kind of a pain. And then they got these little kamikaze guys, which are like, which I don't know where they jump to. And then, for other Konami games, oh my goodness, well, they recognize this boss looks very similar to the boss from Gradius. And you can only kill him, or hurt him, I should say, when they come together. And if I wouldn't have lost my laser, I probably would have toasted him right away. But instead, I'm... Well, I got him red. He's getting angry. Okay, we got one down. Here, if you have two player, you each take one. And that's what I should do. I should stream these games with the buddy, so you can see the two player mode. We'll maybe do that. Uh, we stream this one again or get requests. If you guys ever have any old, especially NES games, Sega Genesis, Game Boy games, you'd want me to tackle. Just let me know. Pretty much was a huge Nintendo player as a kid, so I don't know if there's too many that I haven't. Uh, Played and most of them I have mastered, or at least uh, semi mastered. Now we're in the snow field here on machine gun. So the cool thing about machine gun is instead of having to push the button, I'm just holding it down and it just keeps on shooting me out a stream of, uh, of uh, bullets. Ah, I thought you'd do something stupid with that. And I would have had rapid machine gun, which is like one of my favorite combos, having that died. <laughs> uh, well, darn. So Okay, we got some fire. So now we're gonna come up oh, just about to the part that I was going. Got ahead of myself a little bit. Trying to be fancy and kill that guy. And don't fall in the water when you first come back. But, uh, that's... <laughs> I'm just... Okay, showing you guys what not to do. So, here's the part I was thinking about. So here, this part's kind of scary when you first play this. You're like, uh, how do I beat this thing? Basically get as far away from you can and just mash like crazy slowly turns and then usually right about when he gets to you is when he dies if you <laughs> if you mash hard enough if not he just runs over and kills you and then you keep on moving like that but that first time you see him it's kind of like oh, oh what is that thing and so if that freaks you out enough then you get to do it all over again on the second one so you mash this guy And if you have like turbos or something, auto fire, that makes it easy, but I don't know, I don't really use those unless, uh, yeah, I just I do it the old fashioned way, I think that's what most people do nowadays. Uh, that was such a big thing when that was, uh, first came out. They had what was called the NES, ah, I missed my laser. They had, uh, 
couple of controllers. One was called the NES Advantage, which was a big joystick version, and the NES Max. And those were the first controllers I knew that ever had an auto fire turbo type thing. I had an NES Max. It was kind of cool. Had a little spinner thing. Really good for discus on track and field too. Oh yeah, that's this guy. You gotta shoot, just shoot up at him. And and if you do it right, you'll kill him right away. I did it absolutely wrong. <laughs> yeah, you really want a weapon on this, dude. Take a better gun than... There we go. But... I was thinking... Yeah, well... That's fun, we learn together, don't we? Alright. Energy. Now we get... Happy music again. Thing I died before I grabbed my gun so I could still get it again. There we go. Alright. Starting to remember my timing. So these are these fire deals. Wow. As you jump towards them, they pop up and try to kill you. can avoid them all together, I'm just doing that, for some, and some of them this is just timing, this one will go, and that one, jump up through the first round of flames, this one, yeah, I, guess, I thought I could just jump right over it, but I don't know how far that one goes up. drop down, your dude like kind of goes into like, his whole little jump stance so his head pops up. So that's why it's a little more dangerous than that. And let's go down the middle and avoid those flaming guys. And not a whole lot of power-ups on this level. Because, uh... Um, yeah, okay, so... Now we're gonna have to fight the big giant uh, dude. This is the guy I thought I was fighting last level. Let's see, he's like just pretty much just mash on. And he shoots those little things at you and jumps, and he turns color. Pretty much his uh, whole attack. He doesn't do anything else. And... Oh, yeah, he does do that. He does that. But we got him. So now we are coming into the, the lair of the evil uh, Red Falcon. I believe that's the name of the guy you're trying to fight. If I didn't say that already. So, it plays kind of what I call the happy music from the jungle first round. And I'm just showing you how to lose your weapon every time you get it. There we go, oh, now I have rapid at least. So the spiky walls come up and just <laughs> shoot your little bullets and they blow up these giant spike walls. And I'm going up top because if you go on the bottom, the ground is like electrified. That's what like that red is. So you don't want to. So if you touch the bottom, your guy will die. I don't know why those guys can touch it, but if you land on this thing, <laughs> well, that was not too smart of me. Oh, I don't know how I did that. I thought I was toast. 
Maybe you can't touch that. Maybe my whole life has been a lie. I thought you had to be on these things. Unless I'm thinking of later on. Maybe I'm thinking of this part. Maybe sit on these and go along. How did I not shoot him? <laughs> Apparently I'm very good at shooting around, guys. There we go. That was about the perfect way to die. Because now I get spread. And what kind of worry about? Yeah, spread, yeah, spread, kick, spread. Yeah, I can smile through these with this weapon. Oh yeah, here's a little tiny one from the wall. Come up here. But with the spread gun, we make pretty quick work of it. Let's go check for those dudes. Here, why the spread gun is so pretty awesome. Now this base, you can just go up and just blast on this thing. And it dies right away. Now we are finally to the alien's lair. The alien red falcon. I don't know why his lair appears to be like a inside of a it's like you actually have little alien babies coming at you, and you're like, see this, you're like, whoa, that must be the alien. And it's like, oh wait, no, that wasn't. That was just uh, the first four aliens. Uh, these. these things are really annoying. That's why I like to kill them. Because otherwise, you just put those little white dudes, those white things, sort of all of you, and then they spin around and always get you at like, the worst possible time. Actually, not gonna grab that. It's just it's like, I'm gonna have, to have it. Especially. If And it's funny, one thing about this game, like, you notice how my, wep my weapon wasn't hurting that one at the end until he gets to where he can hurt me. Like, most of these guys, most of the enemies in this game that take, like, multiple hits, like these things. Yeah, so now you can see what these things do, they just keep on. You can't hurt them until they can begin to start hurting you. But with the spread, you can just duck and spreads down and gets them. That's pretty much like the only. <laughs> That's like the only bosses in this. So this level's pretty easy. Oh, there they come. Okay. So now. Let's now we're coming to the heart of the alien. So you can get this. And if you do this and bust up its. Uh... See, the aliens can only come out of those. Little. Oh. Let's see if you kill off these things, or you can just shoot the heart. But yeah, we used to try to kill these off because once you kill off these little pods, he has absolutely no defense. But he's actually not that hard for being the final boss. This is the alien. Because then you get here and you realize. Oh, the whole time I've been inside the alien. And that last one's always. Ah, we'll just get the heart. So as you start shooting along, he starts getting angry. He shoots a little more scorpion alien. Now he starts releasing more guys at you, but for the final, we just did it. We have. Save the world. So, let's see what happens here. All right. And there we go. Congratulations. You've destroyed the vile Red Falcon and saved the universe.
consider yourself a hero. So, now we're considered a hero. But yeah. So, and it shows you the staff, and that is Contra. So, um, yeah. It's a fun little game. It's really fun to play two players. It's actually kind of hard if you don't use the code. If you use the code, it's pretty easy. Um, as you can see, I died and messed up quite a bit, but, but it's fun. It's really a good game to play with people who uh, aren't real gamers and you want to just sit down and have some fun. Um, do the Konami code and there you go. And uh, another little interesting note when you do do a play two player, if one of you guys all die, if your partner dies, he can actually steal your lives in reserve and keep coming back. So if you're playing with someone who's really bad, they can just start sucking down your lives, but you can all keep playing together. And it does give you continues, so if you die out all your guys, you can just continue and keep going, I think, up to two times or three times. So, so yeah. Well, anyway, thanks for, um, thanks for watching, and, uh, oh! It does let you keep going. I guess it still goes, even though I beat it, but I don't think it actually does anything different. Yeah, like it's the exact same. Like it doesn't get any easier or any harder. Well, it shouldn't get any easier. But it's not like it's, uh. Not like any of the old, like Mario's or. or Kung Fu where it progressively gets tougher. I'm actually probably doing better now because I have a little more practice in, so. Just blow through this level. Oh, you can swim! I don't think I jumped in the water before. So, anyways. That is, uh. That is Contra. Hope you guys, uh, enjoyed it. I'm gonna sign off for the night. And you guys, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys all on the flip side. Looks like I'm getting buzzed here by Alexa or something. Alright.